Three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. A mysterious mist covered many parts of the world. Most people got sick and died. Many of those who survived suffered changes. They became ferocious, turning vicious when touched by the fog, seeking fresh meat to feed upon like other humans. You are one of the very few who is immune to the mist. You survived in a camp with others before it was attacked by creatures unlike any you had seen before. You survived and escaped into the night. A new day dawns. All right, guys, so welcome back to a game called Mist. You'll know if you've been around the channel for a while that we have played this before, but since then, it's undergone a little bit of surgery. Things have been removed, things have been added, and the way the state of the game is right now, it looks pretty promising. So I thought, why not jump in and take a look at it together? Now, if you're not sure what Mist is, hopefully that intro screen kind of explained a little bit. It is a survival game, but it is a survival game with a twist. It has a certain charm about it, which we'll get into, but all right, let's pick this up. So... Upgrade inventory. Have I got everything still selected? What we got? A rock and a saw. Did I not store this stuff? Open this up so we can throw just that into there. Okay, I'm going to take the water. I'm going to take the peaches. Is that what it is? Oh, canned fruit. Okay. So, like I say, what I wanted to do for this first episode is just take a look around. Now, if you guys decide that you like this, and I know a lot of you do, because I still get messages to this day saying, why do you not play Mist anymore? If you guys like this, then what I will kind of do as a series is do a permadeath series so everything i do has a consequence whether it be from just going out hunting for food you know for deer or something like that or maybe take down a bear if i get killed by that bear it's over so everything has a consequence i can't just go bundling around i think that's what we'll do if we turn this into a series we got ourselves an axe got these like small camps Actually, a good question to ask you guys. I always love reading these comments whenever we start, like, something new like this. Or revisit something. Great inventory again, some cloth. If there was an outbreak around the world of, like, a zombie virus or something, or some kind of infection which is turning people into crazed flesh eaters, where would you go, or how would you defend yourself? Would you hold up in your house? What would you do? I always like to think I would hold up in something like a shopping center, but... Thinking about the size of people and stuff, it's probably one of the worst places. Like, that's probably where a lot of people would go for supplies. So you're going to get overrun at some point. Now, I'm not talking for a second because... There is one... Of the infected. Oh, look at that! He gets burned up by the sun now! What is... Why is he still coming? Okay, so that's mildly terrifying. They never used to do that before. I swear to you guys, they used to stay inside. They would only come out at nighttime or in the mist. I mean, you saw him like burning up. That was really cool though. It kind of had that vampire effect, you know? It get burned up in the sun. Terrifying though. <laughs> that's one thing this game was. It always had its like little jump scares about it. See, it does have its charm, but it's it's terrifying too. I'm equipped with an axe this time, you bastards. Let's see if it runs out. I really don't remember them doing that. Maybe they're just like so hungry or something that they're they're going to extreme measures to try and get some food. Let's see if they come outside. Come on. Yeah, look, they're burning up and they do want to go back in to get that pain off them. <laughs> it's such a cool effect as well, the fact that they burn up in the sunlight. So we want to use the daytime as much as possible. Look, there we go. We can see him. All right, so let's use as much of the daylight as we can then. Let's head over this way. I almost forgot about this. The highways and roads and stuff in Mist, you just see loads of vehicles that have been abandoned. And I love that feeling. It absolutely has that apocalyptic feel about it. Can we actually drive these? If I remember right, these doors and stuff, they didn't used to open. So maybe... Like, in the future, we can drive, like, the, the trucks and things. Look how badass this vehicle looks. I would love to drive that around. Oh, that's another thing as well. From the last time we actually played this, they've updated the vehicles that you can drive, if I'm not mistaken. I think I've seen something that looks like a, a, a pickup truck, and there's something else as well, but I've forgotten what it was. Got a statue that's all smashed to pieces. I don't have a weapon right now, so I'm being super careful. That's why I'm not just running through different buildings. All right, what we got? Anything in the locker? Some matches. Can we stack them? 16. Can we stack you? No. Okay, so we can't stack food. We got some water. We got some 
canned fruit. I think what I'm going to do then is just keep heading down this way because there's not really a reason for me to go back to that camp over there. There's nothing much that I really want to keep and I should just keep going and try and find a safe place to at least bed down for the night. Okay, so we've got some military tents or something down there. We're going to take a look, see if we can get some weapons or something. Some clothing or maybe even food, but I wanted to show you guys this first. Look at that. This thing looks modeled and ready to go, like we can just get in and drive it. And I have tried. I can't open it. Maybe I need a key or something. Or maybe it is just not ready to go, but that thing looks almost perfect. You know? Like, it looks in really good condition as well. All right, let's keep heading this way then. So one of the things that I am very aware of from the last time I was playing are uh, things like the bears. <laughs> I got my ass kicked by the bears last time. Anything? Medical supplies? Also, not to mention, there was things like bandits and stuff or raiders. I can't remember what the name was that they called them. But they were super dangerous as well. Like they had fully automatic weapons and they just lit your ass up if you went anywhere near where they were. So I'm very aware that I'm not alone. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not hearing anything either. So maybe it is just completely abandoned. Like it. Oh, this is the vehicle that they used to use. So this is what I had to fix up last time in order to be able to get around the map. That's actually really cool that they've kept it in. All busted up and broken down now. So what? We can't drive that one anymore then. So it must be that we've got new vehicles in the game. But yeah, look at this. I mean, we've got some cloth. Electronic parts. This looks like it has just been completely abandoned. Like an outpost or something at one point. Maybe to try and help people. And then when you have that amount of people that are just infected... And like the intro said, turning into ferocious flesh-eating monsters. You're not going to be sticking around for too long. It's really cool though. None of this stuff was in the game last time I played. We just got to loot everything and hope for the best. I really do. Oh, some bullets. 9mm. Nice. Some more canned fruit. Could really do with the weapon though. It's over there. Any kind of silhouette and stuff. I kind of tense up a little bit, you know? Just because of that first interaction that we've just had. Now that I know that <laughs> they're a little bit more ballsy, I'm I'm second guessing as to just running into places like this. What's that? Charcoal? Do I want to pick that up or is that a little bit ahead of me yet? Propane tanks and stuff. People do forget as well, this started out as such a small project. And if I don't know if it was one person that made this. I could be mistaken. I think it was one person. I don't know if it still is anymore. But, like, when you look at this, it's better than most games that are made with a team nowadays. It's kind of crazy how far this game has come. All right, let's see if we can eat something. So you can see all our stats down here. Health, hunger, thirst, fatigue, stamina, cold. That is going to have a big factor later on. You can see at the top, about a few months to winter. We've got the time and the temperature as well. Can we stack this? Nice. What else we got? we got some more peaches. Can we stack that? Nice. Seven. Cogwheel. Oh, more ammunition. Okay, I'm definitely going to keep all of that then. Let's just eat one more of those. I mean, I don't know why, just because we can. We've got the excess space. And then I'm going to throw these into my inventory. Hopefully, I can stack the 9mm. Six. And then we've got, what's that? Rifle ammo. M4 carbine. Wait, what did that say? A Dragonov rifle. Okay, that wasn't in the game last time either. So we got a whole list of different weapons to be able to see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got ourselves a shotgun. Let me get rid of the coal. Shotgun and some armor. Can we equip that? Equipment. How do I actually see what our character looks like? We go to equipment. There we go. So it's 34.8% armor, 1.5 kilograms. Is there a weight cap? What we can carry? I mean, at least I've got something now. Let me actually switch that. Number one. Have I got any ammunition? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so we need to find some shotgun shells. Okay, <laughs> we got ourselves a grenade. All right, let me get rid of the battery just for a second. Okay, so I just want to see this. I hope it's not going to bring anything in. I haven't seen what this sounds like yet, so. Pull the pin. Oh, nice. Okay, the animation is actually quite cool as well. It doesn't look overly cheesy like you can get in these type of games. I like that. Okay, so we can still do that then. So you can pick these things up and you can move them to where you want them. So potentially if we had a vehicle, we can pick it up move it forward and then drop it inside of the vehicle and we can use that then as storage space. That was a really nice thing that I liked about this game. You could move the lockers and I think I actually did that. I think I picked one of these up like this. 
and then took it to a place that I wanted to use it, which is actually a really nice kind of mechanic to have. Okay, so good news. I've managed to find a combat knife, even though it's not looking too good, 28%. I've also found some shells for the shotgun. Let's have a look at the animation. You always like looking at this stuff. Oh, there we go. Super clean looking. We've got some firepower now, at least. Let's have a look at the combat knife. They've all changed. Like, everything has changed. The models, everything. It just looks much more polished since the last time I played. Which is absolutely a compliment to the game as well. Alright, let's just bust out the axe for a second. Oh, there's the pickup! That white symbol above it basically means that I can drive it. So if it doesn't have that above it, it means that you can't drive it. <laughs> okay, I much prefer this model over the previous one that we had for the vehicles. It looks way better. Oh, you can open the trunk as well. Look at that. So like I was saying before, with being able to move stuff, you can pick it up, throw it in the back, close your trunk up, and off you go. Again, a really nice mechanic to have in the game. What does it look like on the inside? Definitely not as basic as it used to look. Let's see the driver's side. I don't know. Maybe we should fix this one up. And get a little bit closer. Oh, it's definitely been updated. Well, let's take a look at fixing this up then. So if we open the hood, and then we've got gas in here. This is for the engine, spark plug, battery, and then four wheels. So, spark plug, that's going to take three minutes. Now, all the time while you're doing these actions, it is using up your time as well. So, you need to be aware of that. Like I said before, the infected, the zombies, whatever you want to call them, they come out at night time and when there's mist. So, you've just got to make sure you stay extra on top of things when it comes to the time. Engine, it's going to take long. It's going to take 20 minutes, so roughly around half past. And then if we get anything else that we can use, gas, fill the tank, that's not actually going to take too long. Wait, what? Oh, this is actually a garage now. Can we open these? Oh, yeah, you can. I got heavy duty doors as well. So these things, when I very first played the game, they were more like workshops than anything with a bunch of crap laying around. It looks like you can actually tuck your vehicle away in these now and then close the doors up. Just keep it from prying eyes or just away from any of the undead. Okay, so it looks like I've discovered a raider camp. And these are the guys that shoot first and ask questions later. They will literally drop me in a heartbeat. They've got fully automatic weapons. Look, there's three of them. They've got body armor and all kinds of crap that I don't have. So I'm definitely not going to tangle with them. Let me just back off a little bit. I am just going to keep following the road up, though. If I do get anything that I can use against them, like maybe another grenade or something, I might come back to these guys. They are no joke. And if I do remember right as well, I think I read in the notes that they've got, like, snipers and stuff now. <laughs> so, like, I could very well take the three of them out around that house there, and there could be one just in that top window. <laughs> it's just like, oh, no, you don't. And just takes my head off. I've got to be super careful. And again, if you guys do want to see more of this game after today's episode, if we do run permadeath mode, then everything I do will have a consequence. And I wouldn't put myself in that situation if I was trying to survive. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got some deer. Just saw it out the corner of my eye. Where did you go? Oh, you can get like different variations of rifles and stuff. So, and we can get bows as well. Oh, wait, is this another camp? When you see these walls like this, that's usually a good indicator, or it used to be, that those raiders are inside. I'm going to keep calling them raiders. They're probably not called that, but we'll, we'll just run with it <laughs> until somebody in the comments tells me their real name. <laughs> I don't think anybody's home, though. I see that sign there. It makes it look like we could probably claim this. All right, what we got? What is it that we needed? We needed a battery and four wheels. Oh, baseball bat. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This is the mist. And the creatures, the undead, the infected, whatever you want to call them, this is when they're most active. Right, let me get inside. Anything in this? Some more bandages. Oh, I'm definitely going to take that. Can I not stack those? Yes, I can. So, two bandages. I really like the fact that you can stack stuff now, because I don't think you could before. Before... Should get the shotgun out just in case. So this is the thing that we've got to watch out for. And if I'm remembering right, I think the mist can last anywhere between one and three to four in-game hours. So, like, hopefully it won't take too long. And 
If I sit put, don't make any noise. This thing is just going to blow right past us. We can continue looting because I do want to head kind of towards the right hand side in front of this cabin. Because I think I saw some hunting towers over there. And I'm hoping there'll be a rifle or something inside. The more weapons, the better. So I'm just going to sit tight for now. Wait this out and I'll be back with you guys in a second. <laughs> That's not one of the most terrifying fucking things I've ever seen in the game. I don't know what is. This can happen at night time too. And I'm doing that thing again where I almost whisper. Because in the back of my mind, I'm like, they can hear me. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. I think the mist has just shifted and we got a deer over there as well. So what time is that? Okay, 10 minutes past 3. There's a few times there where, I won't lie, got a little bit worried that they were going to come through the door. Oh, there we go. They just fall down. They can't take the sunlight. Look at that. He's burning up. Can we loot him? Okay, so we actually can loot these things. Look at that face. Oh my god. Okay, so I've made my way to the top of this hunting stand. This is where I found weapons last time, but it looks totally different. So, what have we got? We can actually use this for storage, but I don't think I'm going to take it with us. Some more shotgun ammunition. 24 rounds of 9mm ammo now. All I need is a 9mm. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. There's never anything in these for me. Anything in this? There used to be lights and stuff that you could snatch off the walls for your base, but I don't think there is anymore. I really want to get a rifle and just drop that deer so I've got some food. You know, some meat. I want to get a campfire going and cook up some deer. Okay, so this is the other vehicle and it looks like a Range Rover. So what does the interior of this one look like? Oh, it's really different than the other one. So the pickup truck was like kind of smooth and just everywhere inside was just blacked out. This has got like the grain, the wood grain and stuff. Is this guy actually more slots? Can we open the back? Can't actually see. I didn't see how many the, the actual pickup truck had, but I don't know. I think if I'm rolling around in an apocalypse, this is probably the way to go. Even though I love the pickup truck, I don't know. Something's telling me this is much more of a tank. We have already... Oh, it was you. We have already started prepping the pickup truck, so I'm going to continue to do that, but it's good to know that this thing's here. In case I need to swap something over. Who knows? Maybe I can actually set up over here, like up in there, and then drive the pickup over this side, and I've got like a little garage or something. Plenty of animals around here too, so it'll make for some good hunting. Okay, so we've got another vehicle that we can use here if we need to. It's like a back row. Just heard a chicken. Now I don't... Oh, there it is. I don't actually know how you capture them. Let's see if I can get close. You can actually capture them. Maybe it's just their eggs then? I saw it on like one of the screenshots. Somebody had made like a little chicken pen. I'm guessing you can just use it to like live off. <laughs> we'll leave it alone for now. There we go. Some more backpack space. Another drink that we can use, some more matches, 27 matches now, and some more canned fruits. I don't think I'm going to take the saw. I can actually make this my temporary home, which I will do, seeing as though I'm so far away from my other one. How do we do that again? So, make this your active base. There we go. It's as simple as that. I do want to do one more thing, though. Okay, so I've just made my way to the top of this hill to give you guys a little bit of a bird's eye view as to what we're dealing with. Now, everything you can see... Is to where we can travel to. Whether that just be looting up for supplies. Trying to look for a place called home. Or even finding someone who we can call friend and help survive this apocalypse with. I don't know. But if you guys want to see more of this. Then you know what to do. Drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all. In the next one.